Here I have HTC Desire 330 and let me show you how to go through the initial lasing setup process on the following device. So let me show you how to accomplish the activating this HTC smartphone. At the very beginning of course let's start by using a welcome panel. Here you can choose your desired language. As you can see this is the full list of available languages. In my case let me use English from United States for example. The device is updating. Now you can choose emergency and make some emergency calls if you wish right here. You can also go back, choose tools and here you can use the diagnostic tools and other stuff. You can also tap start and go further. Here you've got terms of use, let's scroll down and tap next if you understand all of these terms. Here you have to choose the internet access, you can use a mobile network and Wi-Fi connection. In my case, let me just use a mobile network and tap next. Or maybe let me also connect my device to a Wi-Fi, it's always a good idea to have an internet connection. Let me choose connect to my Wi-Fi, the device obtaining IP address, as you can see. Let's choose next, tap OK. The phone is checking connection, just wait a few seconds. Right now you can add a Google account to your device, it's not necessary, you can bypass this step by choosing skip in that corner, but a Google account enables you some interesting features, so let me add my Google email. You can do it in two ways, of course, you can create a new account by using that blue link or use an existing one, let me use an existing one, so let's input my email. Tap next. Now we can add the password, so let me do it. Choose next right here. Tab accept. Terms of services and privacy policy, of course. Here we've got some Google services features, for example, you can enable or disable automatically backup device data, help apps find your location, improve location accuracy, help improve your Android experience. In my case, let me leave all of these features enabled and let's tap next. You can set up payment information or you can choose no thanks and do it later, tap continue. The device is processing, let's wait a few seconds. Now you can restore the backup from one of your older devices. Here you should find the list of your devices. In my case, let me choose setup as a new device and tap next. Tap next one more time right here to the time and date settings. Here you can protect your device by using a screen lock protection. Let me skip for now. You can always do it later in settings if you wish. Here we've got some personalization settings, you can choose the name of this phone, let me leave the name from my gmail account, so hardreset.info1. You can get one of these popular apps, let me just unclick it, let me don't install any of this application and choose finish. As you can see the HTC Desire is finishing setup, so let's wait a few seconds until your phone, your smartphone will be ready to use. And that's it, as you can see, right now you can use your device. So everything went well, you just go step by step with the initializing setup process and you just use the most important settings on your device. So that's it, thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel, leave thumbs up under the video.